Hello and welcome to day 26 of the 30 day video challenge. Whew, it's a big one, it's a big one. So over the past 25 days we've talked about a lot of things from our past. Hi Saizai. And sometimes we think of things that we would have liked to have said. Hey Lise, good to see you. Sometimes we think of things that we would have liked to have said after the fact. And I, my family will know that I am queen of the after the fact, coming up with brilliant ideas. So, today is the day to release and let go. Some things no longer deserve space in our hearts and minds anymore. So, for the things that don't deserve space in my heart and mind, I've got a, got a bit of a combo going on today. So, I guess we will see me moving. That's because I'm a little bit uncomfortable in what I'm going to say and just put it out there. So when I was about 10 or 11, it was after we had moved to Australia, um, I was in a situation that you know, everyone would have thought was a safe situation, um, but I was molested. Um, I was about 10 or 11 and that, that didn't really impact me um in in a devastating way but it had a it has had a huge impact on the way that I raise my kids um hi Farah so I have raised them to make sure that they are safe but even more importantly to make sure that our communication is open so that we can have any conversations about um about their safety, making sure that they feel safe, making sure that they feel comfortable, and if they're not comfortable in a situation, um, you know, making sure that they're not, they're not put in that situation. And it's not something that I would ordinarily talk about, but there was something in my Facebook feed earlier this week about um, uh, Komatwas and uh, and elders on the rise and that's it's certainly a, a culture that's not limited to Maori culture or or any particular culture it, it's something that's so pervasive throughout society and there are so so many girls and women who have been affected by it and you know I think about the people who are that we come across in life that are that are sad or that are angry and you know we don't know we don't know what their story is we don't know what's behind that and and we don't know how you know how they've been impacted and I for me personally I I like to think that I treat everyone with compassion because I don't know their story, but I know that people don't know my story and they don't know what has gone on in my life. And I'm so blessed and so fortunate that that wasn't a defining factor for me. It didn't define who I am. But what it did do is define how I want my children to be raised and to make sure that they are always safe. Hey, Uncle Gav. And... You know, there are so many people that I've seen um, around the world who have been impacted, but also within within my life and, and in my network who have had that horrible, horrible things happen to them. And so I think it's worth, I think it's worth, you know, shedding a light on because it's not, it's not limited to our suburb it's not limited to a nation it's a it's something that's so big but if if there's shame in talking about it then then how can we change what needs to be changed so I raise my daughter to be safe but to also know um, her self-worth and her boundaries and I raise my son to be respectful to know um, that women are not are not possessions they're not things to be uh, touched and that consent is, is is something that is absolutely necessary. So that's one thing that I can lay to rest by putting it out there. Far out, man. Far out. TMI, I think. But putting it out there because I, um, 
you know, I know that there are so many, so many people that feel that they don't have a voice in that. And, and the more people who are willing to admit it, you know, the less, the less shame and the less feeling of a victim. I, you know, I know that it happened to me and I know that it wasn't nice, but I didn't have shame around it because I, I, I think most of my family know. Um, and I didn't, it didn't affect my self-worth or self-value. Okay, so another incident that had had an impact on me and again it's it's about how I raised my children was my parents married young married really young and had three kids under three uh, and you know as as mum got older she is like me went um, all about personal development and finding myself and, and growing into who I should be, who I want to be, um, and finding a purpose. And and that's her story to tell, but part of that um, journey meant that she needed a break from family life for a little while. And, you know, I've actually said to people, um, we get four weeks annual leave here in New Zealand. We get four weeks annual leave for a job. But parents don't get four weeks annual leave from parenting. And, you know, um, sometimes it would be good to have a break from parenting. I mean, I love my kids, but if you get a break from work, um, you know, sometimes it would be good to get a break from parenting. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Um, but what, what that impact had on me was that um, it made me think about who I want to be when I grow up and so it's led to me always pursuing what I want to pursue um, following my passions and and going down paths where I want to grow and want to learn and and really having that communication with my kids again about about life unraveling in ways that we don't necessarily anticipate um, relationships being not fairy tales and, and that's not to say that they can't be fairy tales all I'm saying is that um, there needs to be communication which isn't necessarily portrayed in in the fairy tales so there's a lot of things that go on um, that aren't explicitly said in fairy tales that that make people believe in things that aren't realistic so Mum's experience led me to, um, yeah, r having really strong communication with my kids from the day that they were born and just making sure that they have their self-worth, have make sure, making sure that everything is um, stable and secure in their life for, for their foundation. And then the third thing, which is a happy story, um, is about Wayne and and just how grateful I am to have him, him in my life. Because when I met Wayne, I was a single mum. And Tiger was about one year old. And from the day that, that Wayne and Tiger met, Wayne loved Tiger, Tiger. And was so loving and so open and just so wonderful. Um, and that, that had a huge impact on... Um, my ability to trust again, um, my, oh, and actually he's so supportive, like, I mean, he puts up with so much from me, um, and so he's supportive of, of all my little journeys and detours along, along, along the way that we've gone, um, in our 14 years together, so I just wanted to acknowledge him and, um, say how much I love him and and really acknowledge that his his coming into my life has made an impact in my life so that's about it for me that was day 26 all about saying the things that had been unsaid and oh my goodness I can just feel that I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the finish button and there's gonna be more things that come up but 
No, that's it for me. We're coming to the end of the 30-day challenge. And really, this has been such a massive, um, had such a massive impact in my life. And, um, hi, Tigs. And, hi, Christy. It has had such a, a massive impact in my life and my ability to speak freely about things, um, about finding my voice, about building my confidence and about, yeah, becoming more me. Becoming more me is, is, is what this 30 day challenge has been about. So I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is another 30 day challenge coming up. It's absolutely free and it is an absolutely incredible journey. It starts on the 1st of June. So if you're interested in joining a 30 day challenge to boost your confidence, um, find your voice and let go of a lot of baggage, then I, you know, I can't praise this process highly enough. So I will sign off for day 26. I look forward to seeing you on day 27. Don't know what the topic is yet, but we'll find out later on today, which gives me the night to mull it over and come up with something to talk to you about tomorrow. So have an awesome day and I will catch you tomorrow.